Hi everybody, I'm back and we're going to move on to the next form, which is cloud hands. Okay, so what I decided to do with this portion of the video or this portion of the form is really is, is to break it up into actually two different videos. In one video, I'm going to do really go through in detail the handwork, the body movement of the cloud hands. Um, and, in, in, and in this video, I'm going to go over basically the transitions um, of the cloud hands from diagonal fly and into squatting single whip. So I'm just going to break it up. And because cloud hands is actually really, really complicated and it's one of the basic fundamentals and foundations of a really one of the um, key aspects of Tai Chi and the Tai Chi form. You know, if you talk to anybody, um, when you mention cloud hands, everybody knows that's part of Tai Chi and um, one of the Tai Chi moves. So it's actually really complicated and I don't see too many people that actually, um, from the way that I was taught, actually do it very correctly. Um, there's a lot of key aspects to look for, especially in the hands and along with the body movement. That's why I decided to separate it. And the other video is going to be posted um, in the found fundamentals of the Tai Chi, and I'll post a link on that um, in that video. So in this video, what we're going to do is I'm just going to start off with the diagonal fly. And so remember, as we as we finish the diagonal fly, we're actually facing 45 degrees. Um, if, if I'm facing the camera and it's considered north direction, we're actually going to be facing the northeast direction. So we'll, we're actually kind of off in this diagonal manner. So after we finish the diagonal fly, our feet is pointed in that direction. And remember, um, our heels are on the railroad tracks and, and shoulder width apart. Okay? So as we're coming out here. Now, the footwork basically is as we finish the diagonal fly, our weight's on the right foot. And when we shift our right foot, we're going to continue that turn of the body and actually going to step up with our left foot. Okay, so there's two different variations to kind of do this. And one is as you, as you bring your foot, the back foot, the left foot up, you're going to keep your heels in the same line. Okay, horizontally in that kind of east-west direction. You can do that on the same line. The way, the way that I was taught was as you shift up, then you turn, okay? And as you turn, you take a half step up, okay? And after you finish your half step up, shift back to your left, you turn. And as you turn, then that brings the foot back in. Okay? And when it brings your right foot up, it's going to be a little bit uh, narrower than your shoulder width. And your heels are on that same horizontal east-west line. Okay? So when we continue into the sideway motions of the cloud hands, Feet a little bit more narrow than your shoulder width. We've shifted to our left, we turn, then we shift back to our right, we turn, and then we're going to take a step to our left. And this time, placing our feet shoulder width apart, we're going to shift over and turn. And as you turn, then we bring our right foot, bring a little bit of half step back in towards the left. Okay. Then we shift back to the right, we turn, take a step out to the left, shift and turn, bring a right foot in, shift, turn, bring our left foot out, okay, shift and turn. Okay, so at this point we've made three steps. Okay, so Step out with the left, step in with the right, step out with the left, step in with the right. Okay, so after we finish our third step, we're going to go into a single whip 
and going into the squatting single whip. Okay? And the transition of that into single whip when we settle down with our left foot and after we turn with the last one, we turn. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take another step with our right foot. Okay, now this time we're going to turn, take a step out in a north direction towards the camera. Okay, and the key aspect to this is our heel placement. Now, our heel placement at this point from front and back, because our ending position is going to be towards the west direction, towards the left here. So when we finish, we want to make sure that our heels in this direction is shoulder width apart. So when we take the step forward, we want to make sure that the heel position from front and back is actually our shoulder width apart facing this direction, okay? Not the forward direction. So we take a step forward, we shift and turn, then we turn and into this west direction, shift and turn, turn our back foot 45 degrees. Okay. So that's the footwork. So starting from diagonal fly again. Okay. So we finish the diagonal fly, take a little step up, half a step up with our left foot, shift, turn, step, 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 up, okay, and then shift, turn, shift, turn. Okay, so footwork. Um, so well, that's at the hand. And I'm not going to go into detail of the hand work um, in this video. Okay, check out the other video. Um, so after diagonal fly, okay, what happens is we're going to continue, take a step up, okay. We're going to drop our right hand and we're going to bring our left hand up. So as you shift up to the left, our left hand comes up. Okay, and we're going to turn. Bring our right foot up, okay, shift, bring our left hand down, turn, and the right hand starts to come up, okay, take a step, shift, right hand goes down, left hand comes up, turn, step, shift, right hand comes up, left hand goes down, okay, shift, step, sorry, step, shift and turn okay so now at this point when we take the step for the single whip okay we're gonna okay we're gonna take a step up and then we're gonna drop our left hand okay so when we shift up we're gonna drop our left hand and we're gonna swing our hands from the left up diagonally to the right and get into the preparation form for the single whip. So as you shift, then our right hand, the fingers come together to a point. Our left hand comes up to this left upper chest region. Okay, so shift, turn. So we shift and turn. Okay into the single position. And then you can also check out the link um, for the single whip video. Okay, so uh, let's do that again. Okay, so diagonal fly. Okay, step up with the left foot. Shift, the left hand comes up. Right hand comes down. Bring your right foot in. Shift to the right. Step with the left, shift, turn, step, shift, turn, step, shift, turn, step up, 
swing our hands up and single it. Okay, so after this is the squatting single whip, and I already did a video on that, and then I also post a link up there so you can go and check out that video. Um, so that's pretty simple. That's pretty it for the footwork. And um, so keep practicing. Uh, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, anything you'd like me to cover, post it in the comments below and I'll see if I can do a video on that or just answer any questions that you guys might have. Might have. Okay, good. And uh, I'll see you next time.